um, okay, what's up, guys? Okay, um, so before I start cooking the tuna, I'm going to show you what kind of tuna it is. Oh, yeah, other freezer. <laughs> okay, um, I've already got it defrosted. That was very fast to defrost. Ugh. Oh, yeah, while I'm over here, I'm going to show you all something. So, you're under those little, like, water balloon hand pumps that you would use. Oh, I found one of my old ones. Put some vinegar and baking soda in a jar. Put it in a, under a plastic bag. Oh, wait. And did this. And I think I mm, might possibly be able to carbonate some water with it. Um, we'll try it, see if it works. got to put that back in the fridge. That's not the fridge we're trying to get in, though. For the tuna. Dang, that little vial got to be so dramatic. Um, here's the tuna right here. Yellowfin tuna steaks. It's by American Prime Seafood, and it's sushi grill, it says. It, yeah, um, I just um, had something that fell out of the freezer. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we're done now with that. So we're going to get the tuna cooking. Here's my favorite pot in the world, or pan. Okay, okay, um... I don't know if I'm gonna use olive oil or butter to cook it with. I'm gonna get the tuna out though. Okay, it's right here. It's been sitting in a bath of warm water for a few minutes. That looks really good. It looks almost like jello. Okay, well, I'm gonna set y'all in this. I'll let y'all know if that carbonated water works. Also, haven't been uploading a lot lately because I really haven't felt like it. Um. And also last week, or th two weeks ago, I was in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, on the Strength to Stand conference that my church goes on pretty much every year. Okay, let's just get a knife. A little knife. I use this knife for everything. Whether it's going outside and cutting open water bottles for no absolute reason, or cooking, or cutting plants. Mm. Didn't cut me. Cut my finger now. I've never cooked and or ate tuna. I've never cooked or ate tuna before. Unless you count sushi. I wouldn't because it's not like the main dish. It was a bunch of different kinds of sushi though. But here's our tuna right here. And it looks very beautiful. No, I'm not going to do that. I would have offended a lot of people if I did that. Um, I don't know if y'all can even see that. Yeah, y'all can. Not very well, though. We're moving out that way. So we're going to throw all of this away. The packaging. Not the tuna, of course. And wash my hands again. I washed them right before this video because I had to do the thing with the, vin or the vinegar. So, um, yeah. Oh, hey. How are you, um, person that joined? I'm just getting out my seasonings. What should I use? What seasonings? I don't know. Yeah, chat's working. Oh, <laughs> they left. Okay, well, um, let's see. What do I want to use? Oh, two people joined. Hey, um, what seasonings should I use for the tuna? Also, I need to throw this little wrapper. Oh, I swear, I just had two people join, and then two people leave. Uh, what's up? Are you going to stay, or are you going to go? Just pick one, except please stay. Okay, um, I don't really know what seasonings go on tuna. I don't want to put tahini. I put that sometimes. You've got to be kidding me. Bro, there are ants all in my cabinet up here. It's winter, so we have ant infestations everywhere. Goodness, they didn't get into those. That would be really unfortunate. Who's out there? Any people watching? No. Okay. Um, let's see. That's just black pepper. We don't like black pepper. I don't really care for black pepper. It's not my favorite spice. Um, we'll do a little bit of garlic powder. Let's see. Ooh, time. Everybody needs some more time. 
Oh, hey there, how are you, person? I'm just picking out my seasonings. Ah, right, crap. What do you think I should use? Also, please don't leave. Or, let me see. Okay, no comments. Dang it, you left. Okay. Um, what about Old Bay that requires? Oops. Okay, so here's our seasonings. A little bit of Old Bay. Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of that. Quarter of a teaspoon of this. This is most of what we're using. This, don't know if y'all can read that. I don't know. Let's turn the camera around, see if y'all can read it that way. Read the label. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm using for that. This, this garlic powder. Some chives, a sprinkle of tahini, like a sprinkling salt on something, and some thyme leaves. So let's get to cooking. Okay, accidentally almost into the stream. I need to wash my hands again. I am very germaphobic whenever it comes to cooking food. I hate touching raw things. If it's meat, no. Anything that is raw, I refuse to touch. I swear, I get the same problem every time people join, they leave over and over again. Don't even say nothing in the comments. Just leave, so sad. This seasoning I'm using right now, the tangy garlic one, it's actually from my teacher at school. She gave that to me as a Christmas present or something, I assume. Oh, hey, I'm just seasoning up my tuna. Never cooked it before either. This is my first time. And eating it as a main dish. I'm not gonna count sushi because we'll, you know, Oh, I already said that. Park that seasoning in there. Don't know if that's a good idea. And y'all are being rested against my paper towel rack. So sorry for that. Um, but I don't really care. Because as long as y'all can see mainly what I'm doing with the food, then that's really all that matters. Throw that away. Also, I really hope Gordon Ramsay sees this. That'd be amazing. Just got back home from school a little bit ago, too. Oh, hey, we have a viewer. How are you? And yes, I'm also checking chat, so if you want to say something, feel free to say something. Um, next, a little bit of tahini. Like, that's how much we're putting on each side. Basically none. Um, we're actually not going to put the garlic powder in it, but we're still going to go with the Old Bay. I like experimenting with the seasonings. Also, um... If y'all haven't heard, y'all know that lady cooking with Ninja? I absolutely love that lady. She's one of my favorite YouTube chefs. Well, she ended up passing away recently. If you didn't know. A lot of people still don't know. It's even... I think it made a few news articles, too. Mm. Can't forget time. Everybody needs time. Especially me with my schoolwork. <laughs> I'm not putting a lot of time in here though. Just a sprinkle. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Do 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 do. I need somebody to join and tell me what I should cook it with. Feel like how I should cook it. But here's our final salmon, or not salmon, but, uh, you know, you get the point, people. Okay. We're going to go ahead. Okay, well, nobody's joined to watch the actual cooking process. Um, I think my phone. Oh, hey, I'm just about to get cooking. Can you tell me if I should use olive oil or butter? 
before you leave if you're going to leave? Olive oil or butter? If chat's working or not. Because I need to know. Because I can't decide at all. Also, I probably better bring the two over here already. My gosh, people, stop leaving the freaking thing, please. <laughs> We're gonna go with a little bit of both, olive oil and butter. I'm sorry, Italians, it's your really name. We're gonna cook it with olive oil and sear it with butter. Salted, of course. I feel like Japanese people and Italian people would get massively offended that I'm using olive oil and or olive oil to cook tuna, which, well, no, it's not sushi, so it's fine. Um, where's my tongs? My gosh, dang it, I can't find my tongs, people. Uh, no, I don't want to use these. These are not my good tongs. I don't know what that weird hissing noise is. I do not care. <laughs> Hello, how are y'all doing today? Don't know if chat's working. Um, I'm gonna actually. Okay, well, here we go. Lay the tuna fish down. Oh, listen to that. Y'all probably can't hear it because, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, people. Y'all can just watch that cook, make sure it don't catch on fire. Okay. Oh, hey, nobody's on here. That's cool. Oh, three people. Hey. Okay. Is it working? I'm back. I'm back. Okay, good. Chat's working. I had to get my cousin to um, just comment something in chat to make sure it's working. Are you going to stay and watch the stream? <laughs> you can. Now we're just gonna flip this. Oh, beautiful! Okay, here I'll have to show you all. It's not the most perfect here ever, but I mean it looks pretty good for tuna, and I've never cooked. I like it. But I'm just cooking it. I'm gonna cook it right now, and then I'm going to get a really nice crust on it. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was my cousin. I'm gonna get a really nice crust on it after. But, ooh, that's, that's like the YouTube chef thingy. <laughs> Zero people. Again. <laughs> Love it. Oh, now it's back up to two. I don't know why it keeps saying zero, then two. It's getting weird. 
Okay, so where in the world am I talking to y'all from? Or the person that's watching. Not the state, but country. I'm from the grand old USA. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I, I don't sound country. I did, but I don't. Also, I'm going to make some white rice to go with this. With like a nice sauce. Probably made from the stuff I'm using here. And Gordon Ramsay, if you see this, I, I, um, um, I don't really know. Also, how is it that my phone gets better live streaming quality than my freaking PlayStation 5, which is hooked up directly to the wall? And you're going to tell me that has less streaming capabilities that are horrible compared to my friggin' phone, which is, like, not connected, it's wirelessly connected to the Wi-Fi. But my TV is plugged directly into the wall, or whatever, or something. I don't really know, but that should have way better video quality. It's not video quality, I don't like it. It's the fact that it has trouble broadcasting. Let's switch eyes right here. Now we're in slope of it. Oh, that sear right there that we got is way better. Ooh, y'all right here. Y'all can see. Okay. I'm gonna go get a plate. Or she a bowl. We're gonna make this a bowl. Of rice and peanuts. Also, fun video coming up, after, or fun live stream that's going to be coming up soon. I'm going to be making beef wellington. Here, uh, or no. See, we don't have the kind of money where I can like afford an actual tenderloin. Because, I mean, they're like a hundred something dollars, and we ain't going to spend that much money on food. Whatever, we still have bills to pay. So we so we went to Winn Dixie and they ended up having um, tenderloins for sale, like half tenderloins or like the middle section that's pre-cut out. So we ended up just getting one of those. I'm gonna be using that. Oh, so the pan is like 50 cents. I'm trying to cook one section of it specifically. Okay, who is watching? If you're the person I think you're watching, aka okay, my cousin, comment something right now. Oh. She be spraying oil over the That's what she's gonna be doing. Whew. That's a lot of oil. So how has y'all's day been today, people that are watching? Y'all do anything interesting at school, if you have school, or if you don't have school, anything interesting in your life? Have any brand new bill you have to pay? You buy Netflix, buy HBO Max? You find out you're having a baby? Any of y'all find out you're having a baby or something? Or did um your or did like your oven explode into flames, and then you pull out this amazing ro roast of beef and vegetables and literally anything? Also, I don't know how tuna is supposed to look on the inside. I'm gonna take the temperature. Hey, can you look up what the internal temp of tuna is supposed to be to be fully cooked? Because I have no clue. Well, actually, I think I can look that up on my phone. Yeah, we're... We're rising steadily. Almost at 150. I'm going to look that up real quick. I am back. That was a really cool re-intro thingy. So 
So I'm actually going to get a paper plate real quick to put this in the box. Okay. It be fully cooked. Oh, that looks so beautiful. So we're going to put this actually over a bed of rice. I'm going to dump this oil out. We'll dump it out onto this. Now we're going to get a marvelous sear on this tuna. And we're also going to get it lathered in American... In American stuff. Or the, the most beautiful thing Americans call our, what we make. Butter. Americans love cholesterol and butter. And literally anything like that. And we're going to do another sprinkle of Old Bay. Over the top to do a nice thing on this. This is a garlicky tuna thing. Gotta get the pan on. Might be a little bit spicy. Okay, who's watching? Here. Um, if, if whoever's watching, comment your favorite food. Your favorite food, school subject if you're still in school, or even if you graduated. And who your favorite YouTuber is? I hope it's me. Because that would that would be amazing. Oh, That's so why don't people ever use a cooking in the chat? This will see. We're done with the tuna fish today. And we're gonna make a nice bourbon sauce. Just a tiny sauce. Nothing special. Um, I think we have brown sugar. Let me see though. I have no idea what to use for anything. Okay. Well, don't know where my brown sugar is. Hey, that's right. It's in here. Oop. Okay, so, while that's there, I'm going to get my brown sugar out. We're going to need honey. We're going to need some brown sugar. Sugar. Brown sugar. Gosh dang it, those stupid eggs. Look at this, people. Ants all in our brown sugar. Where's our spray? I'm gonna go outside and spray this guys. Oh, right. Like okay, but yeah, I had to spray the whole thing of brown sugar. It wasn't that much. We didn't have that much left. Okay, we're going to see what do I want to use. We're going to use a little bit of Worcestershire for our sauce. We don't want it spicy. Minced garlic. Tiny bit of that. Um, I don't know where our soy sauce is. 
tiny bit of sesame oil. Not a lot. Let's see. Ooh, lime juice. But I have lime. There it is. Light soy sauce and a little bit of cooking whiskey. Because that makes sense. I would say red wine, but red wine doesn't exactly pair well with a sweet sauce. So we are going on loop. We're gonna go throw away all this burnt stuff. I am too lazy and I have this available. Then I'm going to start off by rinsing our tongs. But so we're going to keep most of the crunchy bits on there. Because we still want them to be done. Okay? Some honey. Because we're making this sweet, sweet sauce. Tiny bit of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, if you're northern or whatever. I don't know if northern people will say that. Lime. Garlic powder. Oh, just a tad. Give that a good stir. The aroma is coming off of this car. It's busy. Mint for a few. Kind of smells like me, to be honest. If we're talking about Notice I said smell, not taste. Also a little bit of soy sauce. Fill this up with about one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. Mix it all up. Cut down the heat and a little bit of adult juice. Barely any, okay? Barely any if you're making a sauce. And you want to let that sit for about five to ten minutes on low heat to let the alcohol boil out. Because we don't want to get drunk off of sauce. Okay? some indirect heat to still heat the pan up, but not, you know, overheat. And then we are going to add 
to score, then I take the most amount of time possible. I'm going to go find the rice now. Price the one cup water. That's what you get with a pretty good stuff. Also, those two and a half I think they were like maybe $10. Don't know what my dad got them. I think maybe 10 bucks. Also, Uncle Roger, I'm sorry, I'm not washing the rice. I am just getting the rice moistened with water. Okay, five minutes. Okay, now people are gonna taste our sauce. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. I'm kind of scared to try it. And no, it's not burnt. That's just because of how many dark things I put in this like sort of sauce. Oh, wow. Mm. 
<laughs> Not gonna lie, that's actually really good. I am very proud of myself. Can't taste the whiskey at all. I just put a little bit in there for that weird sauce thingy my sister does too whenever she makes stuff like this. But I'm actually gonna strain everything out of here that's solid because I don't like this. And we're also going to try our tuna really quick. A little bit salty, could have gone a little less, but overall it's pretty good. Kind of spicy because of the, thanks to Old Bay. But here's what it looks like. It is what the, the internet said it is. I don't taste like the salmon I made the other day. Because I usually make like fish or something whenever I get home. Because we buy absurd amounts of frozen stuff. The salmon filet that I got, like that thin, that was not salmon, it was too thin. And it didn't break apart like salmon does if you cook in salmon. Because like usually salmon barely stays together. That's how many eat salmon. What do you expect? This stuff stayed together. I couldn't barely cut it without using a knife. Not because it was tough, but because of how, like, usually salmon breaks apart of the grain. And I cut it at the grain every time. This time, it didn't break apart. Last time, I made that same brand. It broke apart. So that's how I know it ain't salmon. But we're just waiting for our ice cream. And then we're going to put it up. Also, I kind of want to go be on the guys first. I don't know if they ever think about it or not. If they did, that sucks for them, I guess. Okay, whoever's watching, can you please leave a comment? If you can. I don't know if we're watching on an account. Bro, we got three people. Okay, well, I'm just waiting on my rice to get done in the microwave. It's boiling. Look, I'll show y'all it boiling. Y'all see it boiling? It boiling. We're going to check on that carbonated water I was talking about earlier. Using one of these pumps to carbonate water. Looks like it might have actually worked, though. Might have worked. I did manage to carbonate vinegar, though. No joke, like, I did. It tasted horrible. It tasted like a salt and vinegar chip if it was turned into a liquid that was carbonated. Because that's exactly what it was. Also, vinegar does not taste like what you would expect it to. Unless you expect it to taste like a salt and vinegar chip, then it does. Don't ask me how I know. I've drank it before. Not like drank, drank it, but you know, you know, like tasted it. Like a tablespoon or so, because I was very curious to figure out what it tasted like. So one day I did, and yeah. But here's our tuna. Doesn't look that appetizing. It's pretty good though. But let me find that seasoning. Y'all need to get this seasoning right here. My facts teacher got that for me great. I love it. My hair is a disaster today. It looks so good this morning. My hair just sticks straight up randomly every day after school. Probably because I fidget with it. Like, I'll roll my hands go, okay. That's our stuff. I need an oven mitt. I'm going to set y'all down right here on the counter. Why don't I go get that? Because you try getting stuff out of a microwave while it's so piping hot, so hot that it could burn your hands apart.
got the rice. Time to stir it up. And in March, I'm going to figure out if I'm going to a different school, or around March. Gosh dang, this is very, 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 you know, like, steamed rice. So we're actually not going to eat it in a bowl. actually gonna go do a little bit of decoration with this. I'm gonna go and get the sesame oil because I probably need that. Not a lot. Barely a lot. Maybe a crop. Put a little bit over a drop. And look, I'm not joking whenever I tell you how much I'm putting in here. That is the amount of oil I'm putting in here. Maybe a drop or two. I'll sit y'all back up so y'all can see, but we're just going to scroll that around in here with our finger. Just so the rice doesn't stick to it. I actually learned this way of putting rice recently. I'm going to wash my hand up. Don't need to touch that, it's still very hot. Okay, bro, who the heck is watching my stream? I wonder if that's my cousin that is watching still. Now we have two people watching. But yes, people, I may be moving schools again. This time to a boarding school in Huntsville, Alabama, which is arguably way too far away, but arguably it's an engineering school. It's called ASCTE. Recommend, recommend applying there if you want. And if you know me, then that would be like two peas in a pod. Okay. There's our rice. Our tuna and a little divot right there. Boom. That's how you make a lunch for, or an after-school meal. This is what I'm going to be making my kids right here. Food like that. That's pretty good plating. I wish the sauce would be like more of an orangey sauce, but that looks pretty good. And this is where the stream ends. So goodbye, people. And, well, please subscribe, I guess. And talk to you later.